Uh, every time you walk through that front door, it just gives you the... I was going to say the hairs in the back of my head, but I'm being left. So. Zero. Love that, the friendly. It's absolutely unique, and, and I think that was, that was the secret. Not one person went up to him, put his arm around him, and just tried to lift him up a bit for the rest of the game. Didn't like that. Pub is bouncing for this one. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back at iBooks. It feels like it's, well, it's been far too long since we've been back here. And I've got a friend like against Copenhagen tonight. You've seen what it was like in the pub beforehand here, and you've seen it with how much Rangers are trying to punt tickets for this game. Is yeah, the atmosphere, um, it will be interesting to see what it's like because I, I can't see there being many more than 20,000 people in here. It's that time of year just after Christmas but I think a lot of the supporters were quite frustrated with the lack of signings in this January window. Red Van possibly on the way out as well, there been a couple of bids in front that were rejected. Marseille we seem to be battling for with a couple of players coming in and yeah, not too happy with the transfer window so far. Tonight's opponents, Copenhagen, are well renowned for their incredible atmosphere that they produce at their home games or away games. And I'm not too sure how many fans have got here today, but we're sitting over near the away fans today. We're sitting in BF5, a little bit of a change of scenery for this one. And Copenhagen, of course, are known bugs. Just they've qualified through their Champions League group as well. They got a result over in Germany against Bayern Munich, beating Man United at home. Yeah, this is another tough task. We're still about an hour before kickoff, so we're heading into Ebbs and House, where I believe Mark Hatley and maybe some other first team players are talking. So let's head in there. Plan, but the good news is you're getting two instead of one. We've got very special guests, Rangers legends. Please let me introduce to the stage Gordon Judy and Marvin Andrews, everybody. Yeah. Yes, super sub. Uh, every time you walk through that front door, it just gives you the I was going to say the hairs in the back of my head, but I'm being left. So, <laughs> but no, listen, it's special, uh, special time, special club. And uh, me and the big man go about the hospitality suites, speak to people, but it's great. You obviously prefer coming down here because this is where the cool kids are. Otherwise, <laughs> you, you enjoy coming down to Edison House. It's not your first time, but for either of you, but do you enjoy coming down here and being so close to everybody? Yes, yeah, it's, it's very, very important, um, you know, to come down and, you know, to mingle with the fans and stuff like that. Obviously, I think some of the fans who have done, I've been doing some sing songs and all this kind of stuff. So, being good, I would say, I look forward to it all the time and, you know, being so close to the fans and, you know, making them happy. Round up, change your seating tonight. And what's interesting about this is, is this here, or brick. Love it. This feels very, very weird sitting here, but I'm not going to lie, compared to the usual seat, I do prefer it. Well, that answers the questions about away fans then. Zero. See here, look at that. Jeez, oh that Subway Loyal are early the day.
I've got one. Love that, the friendly.
the competitive stuff. Well, on paper, a two-each draw with Copenhagen, who are a very good side, is not bad on paper. But the way we've lost in goals today was so, so silly. The first corner is Fuentes, and I believe it was Jufeco just following their man, leaving someone completely unmarked. McCrory's come out to try and stop that. We caught in no man's land. And in the second one, it's just a big mistake from Jufeco. It's just, obviously... It's an own goal, but the one thing I didn't like after it, as you've seen in the video at the time, not one person in that team went over and put an arm around him, like, yes, of course, it's a big mistake, but not everybody should have been getting on his back, not one person went up to him, put his arm around him and just tried to lift him up a bit for the rest of the game, I didn't like that. I have to say as well, I was quite disappointed to see no Copenhagen fans in the ground, yes, their home fans are absolutely superb, but one thing that our fans cannot be beaten for is our away support, because even if that was a friendly in Copenhagen at this current date, we would have sold out that away end and then some. And that's going to be all for this one. We're going to be back on Saturday with a watch along against Dumbarton. There's going to be three watch alongs in a week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to check out the watch alongs.